The Tom Thumb was the first American-built steam locomotive to operate on a common carrier railroad. We spoke with Rick Weber, who built an exact replica of this iconic piece of railroad history. This is a locomotive that I've built over the past year and a half. Uh, spent 2,300 hours. The wheels were a challenge because I could have them cast, but it was a very large expense. But I was very fortunate to come across Civil War era wheels that were used on a service pump type uh, vehicle. Started with that, they were within a half an inch of being exactly scaled down from the original to this size, which is 5 8 scale. And the reason that is, is because the original was on four foot, eight and a half inch gauge track, standard gauge track. So I designed this based on a lot of the research that I was able to do. There weren't any blueprints, but there were some sketches. The B&O people made a reproduction back in 1930 for the 100 year anniversary, and it wasn't even close. The only thing between it and what the real Tom Thumb was were four wheels, but a different type of engine, different type of boiler system. It was uh, at least five tons heavier than the original. It runs, I wanted to make it to run. It probably won't run very much out here because it's not real practical. Uh, we would like to build a wagon so that we can haul some people around with it. And uh, it's surprisingly uh, spirited for its size. The engine on this scales to three inches in diameter bore and uh, eight inch stroke. Uh, and it runs on 125 PSI of uh, steam pressure. This is my water tank. That would be a tender on a modern locomotive. The water goes into the boiler. The boiler is not made out of wood. A lot of people ask me that here. It's actually a, a very cold, well-built cold boiler with 3 8 inch uh, boilerplate steel, but the wood's used as lagging, and that used to be used a lot, and on uh, steam launches today, it's still used uh, to uh, insulate and keep the heat in the boiler as much as possible. It has some features on it that are very much like the original. We didn't know what the throttle was like, but this is a throttle that works and generally what we think that it would have done back in 1830. Throttles the steam coming from the boiler. It goes down through an oiler so that oil's injected in the steam and comes out in the engine and then makes it uh, actually operate. Well, it was fun to do and my wife and I are in that part of our life where we're trying to do some philanthropic projects and this museum certainly could use some of that. So we wanted to build it and, and um, uh, donate it to them. So we made the donation last month and it's theirs. Yeah.